All right, so far we've just been animating a single element at a time. For example, this thing right here is just one element that we're entering and exiting from the DOM using a transition. But what if we want to apply a certain animation to a list or group of elements together? For example, I want to make an enter and a leave transition for these to-do items. Now, there's going to be multiple of these different to-do items on the page and they're all going to either enter or exit but they will all have the same animation to enter and leave the browser. So how do we tell view to apply transition classes to a list of elements together? Well to do that we use something called a transition group component and this is very similar to the transition component we've used so far the only real difference is that the transition component will only apply transition classes to a single element that it wraps but the transition group component will apply the classes to all of the items that it wraps. So let's give this a go. First of all, I'm going to head to the to do's component because these things right here, these list items, these are the things we want to apply the transitions to. So what we need to do is surround all of the li tags that we have right here because there are going to be a few because we're using v4. We need to surround this with a transition group component. So I'm going to replace this ul right here with a transition group component and then the closing ul is going to be the closing transition group component. Now what we also need to do is apply a tag property to this because it doesn't know what tag this should be when it's rendered in the browser. So if we say here tag is equal to ul, when view renders this to the browser, it's going to look at this transition group, it's going to apply the transitions to these li tags, but when it outputs this to the browser, it's going to say that this should be a ul. So then the ul still surrounds the li tags. All right, cool. So next up, I'm going to give this a name and that's going to be list. So now we need to do our different list transition classes. So let me come down to the bottom. These are all the styles we currently have. These are the basic styles of the page. Now we need to do our transition classes. So I'll do a comment to say list transitions like so. Okay, so first of all, we need our enter classes. List hyphen enter hyphen from and then we're going to do list hyphen enter hyphen to and then we'll do list hyphen enter hyphen active. So let's flesh out these first of all. So what's the initial state going to be? Well, I'm going to say the opacity is going to go from zero and also we'll transform the scale. So transform and it's going to be scale this time and it's going to be 0 0.6, meaning it's going to be basically 60% of its default size. So a bit smaller than it would normally be. Now we're going to enter to an opacity of one and we'll also say transform and this is going to be the scale and we're going to take it back to one, the default size. So finally we need the active class which we also need to spell correctly and here we'll say transition, we'll say all to transition all properties, opacity and transform, then it's going to be 0 0.4 seconds long and we'll use ease for the function. Okay, so if we test this out, I'm gonna enter in a new to-do, press enter, then we can see it animates in, and that looks a lot nicer, cool. All right, so now let's do the leave transitions. So down here, I'm gonna say dot list hyphen leave hyphen from, and then list hyphen leave hyphen to, and then finally list hyphen leave hyphen active. Okay, cool. So let's say first of all where it's going to go from. This is going to be the same as where we enter to opacity one and scale of one. So let me copy those and paste them in. Cool. And then leave two is going to be the same as where we're coming from originally. So let me copy those and paste them in. So opacity zero and then smaller. And then the leave active is going to be the same as this one right here. So let's copy this and paste it in, cool. So if we try this out in a browser now, when we delete one, it animates off. Okay, cool, so we've got the enter transitions and we've got the leave transitions and that looks a lot nicer so far. Now there is one more thing I want you to notice. When we add a new one, 
This is going to transition in, but the current one is going to just kind of jump to its new position. Watch this. Yep, it didn't animate to its new position. And the same if I delete one. This animates out, but then this just jumps up to its new position. Like that. What I'd like to do instead is transition this from its old position to the new position. So that if we delete one, it slides up. So we'll see how to do that next.